Welcome back to the Good Morning Nigeria show on Wazobia TV. Uh, we did promise you an interesting conversation with one of Nigeria's fastest rising comedians and social media sensations. Hmm. If you are doing well, <laughs> you, you definitely say, know this fellow. <laughs> oi. Uh, but, but you know, before we go into this, um, Adewa, you have some information Yeah, for we us. have a video. Maybe we'll watch a bit of a video. Maybe we'll see. For those that we don't know who it be, uh, I'm sure when you see this video, you'll be like, ah! I know this clothes. This clothes is this familiar. This clothes is familiar. <laughs> uh, let's watch a couple of his videos and we come back to start this conversation. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Good Morning Niger Show, Mr. Macaroni. Oh You're welcome. Joining us via Skype, of course. Still in quarantine, I hope. Hope they've not brought you. You are still in quarantine. <laughs> of course. I, I'm maintaining social distancing. It's good yeah. to see you survived at least so far. You're, you're, you're still doing well. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> that, was, that was a very, very creative uh, piece there. Okay. And... Uh, we see that uh, from uh, in, in, in these times that we are in right now, you know, a lot of uh, um, celebrities or a lot of uh, social media sensations, they won't take this, um, this period, take, uh, you know, sensitize their, their followers. Let them know, say, okay, yeah. this coronavirus thing, they, this thing, they happen and things like that. So mm. for you now, why, how, how you take, come up with this, your idea for this one, with this video we just see. So what was the, the idea behind it? Mm. Yeah, so I, I think it's, it's only the natural thing to do right mm. um the uh, society presents the artist with the raw materials to create um, yeah. the art well yeah so whatever you you have um whatever however you want to present your talent society now they now they give us those things we will go use take art so at the moment na coronavirus nine day in vogue Mm. Nine, everybody they shout Corona, 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 Corona. So once you don't come with the reality, say with things don't change for the yeah. world. Yeah. Uh -huh. You must try to blend that thing inside your normal how you they take they present your uh, the material to the audience, mm. so that they themselves will know the times where we they in. So mm. it's society. Whatever happens in society is what I used to create. My, my my art makes sense makes, makes sense. sense okay so make we even start now make people even know who mr macaroni be uh, because uh, mm -hmm. we, when we, we were talking before we came on where there was a song that we were singing mr mm -hmm. macaroni, macaroni riding riding on the <laughs> if you want to man, yo you know mr. what you know, apparently those aren't even the real lyrics but that's conversation for another day uh -huh. but we'll please, stick please, with please, 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 please. <laughs> just stop there what, who told you? They just stop there. You have to be following <laughs> Mark Anthony. Have you watched that? Uh, I Mr. can't be wondering. Mike Anthony riding on a bicycle. It's Mr. Mike but Anthony. I'm, but it's Mr. Mike Anthony. Wow. If you want to marry Please, me, don't mind that. Don't mind that. Oh, Ghana, Mr. Macaroni, I know. And it's not bomb bomb. They were saying they were saying jump on. Jump Cicely on. Cecilia, yeah, jump do you, on. Can you prove it? Do you have evidence? <laughs> exactly. Do you have proof? Do I have proof? Don't worry, I'll do my research. Uh -uh. So now, <laughs> no, they can't do that. But I mean, for for the purpose of today's show, because of Mr. Macaroni. Yes. Actually, I'm curious, yes. why Mr. Macaroni of all the names? Yes. Mm. Yeah, like you rightly said, you know, we grew up with that. Uh, almost every school, every school will give you that as a nursery rhyme. Mm -hmm. Even if you are not in school at home, Mr. Macaroni, it was, it's just so popular. Yeah. And the Mr. Macaroni character is known to be a jolly good fellow, at mm -hmm. least from yeah. the rhymes, mm -hmm. mm, riding on a bicycle. So I was on set, you know, far, far back, and um, there was this um, role I was supposed to play. So the, 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 the role, the character did not have a name. Okay. Then. okay. It was just an extra. Now extra. Now nah, extra it be. So, mm -hmm. uh, so the director just looked me, just say, ah, I want me that they call this person name. Say so just look me, say, give yourself name. Mm -hmm. So I just from nowhere, you know, the Mr. I just Macaroni say Mr. Just Macaroni. Mm -hmm. You understand? So since that time, I can't get friends. You'll be say anytime they see me, Macaroni. Hey. The way they they hype me, uh, you know, just to say, make I keep this name, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> so, makes sense. Makes sense. And the macaroni stuff. and the clothes. Yeah. Now your, now your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, they, they ask you earlier. I say, share the, the where you the dry cleaner. Which one they wear? How you they be? <laughs> exactly. Because now only that clothes. Now Mister Macaroni they wear. Yes, yes. Although he passed one, but at the same thing, exact same thing. Mm. And wow. now because you know the first time. When I start this thing, yes. I not start at the daddy, the Agbada, the Agbada. man. Yeah. Yes. 
Now just normal role, you know, lover boy. If I would get one, I did um, old school teacher. So I was playing okay. different roles. Okay. So, but the first day I tried this daddy character, you know, when I got that inspiration, I just tried it. That Agbada, now be my best Agbada mm. at that time. You understand? Mm. So I just go carry him, I just wear. Now I can't take you to do the, um, um, the skits. Mm -hmm. So now he goes, ah, now, yes, we love this character. We love this character. So, as I see, say, then and Tunde had not gone the post. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. So, as I see, say, people like that um, character. Mm -hmm. that yeah, character. Just stuck with it. Yes. I can't. So, that was when I started to intentionally create mm -hmm. content around that character. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so, we're, we're having a conversation with you on how creatives use their platforms to enlighten the public. And you have been You're doing right. very good work. Well done, by the way. Uh, making Thank skits uh, as regards issues that are trending, issues as they arise. Yeah. Now, you've made yeah. uh, skits to promote awareness on coronavirus as well as the no to rape trend that is happening all yes. over Nigeria right now. But uh, my yeah. question, which I'm sure a lot of people are asking as well on and off social media, does it end on a creative one influencer's platform? Is it enough to just put content out and stand mm. there? Mm. So, uh, you know, I, I have led protest. I, I be a looter, mm. you understand? <laughs> mm -hmm. So I think, yeah. So I think that's what informs my, my way of always, want to, always wanting to bring in issues that affect society into my art form. Okay. Because now that's that's key, at least as at now, above two hundred thousand. No, on Instagram alone, above two hundred thousand. I've seen the video mm -hmm. on Facebook. So on all my platforms, let's say at the moment, more than six hundred thousand people have yeah, seen it. Have seen yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. So I, I believe number one, that is powerful. Using my platform, since I know I can reach quite a number of people. Mm -hmm. Is diff is that doing that is different from just maybe posting something like maybe say no to rape. Mm -hmm. That also helps. I'm not saying yeah. that doesn't help, but some people, of course, will be disinterested. Mm -hmm. We don't yet. We don't see them. But using your what people already know you for mm -hmm. and what they enjoy you for, mm -hmm. using it to speak about it, I think it goes far. Mm -hmm. So concerning um, it ending on social, I just think. We, we we naturally just feel we should use our platform yeah. to enlighten, yeah. um, to, 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 to create awareness. Because at the end of the day, what is art for? What, what should theater be for? Theater should be for education, yeah. for information, yeah. sure. for entertainment, mm -hmm. rejuvenation of society. Mm -hmm. So that's what we, I believe an artist should, should, should do naturally, apart from entertainment. So, of course, if they say, maybe we won't come out now, we won't lead peaceful protest. When... During the xenophobia attacks in yeah. South Africa, yeah. mm -hmm. I was part of the people who led a protest, went to ICM, governor's oh. office, this. So I, me, I always involve myself with activities like that okay. because I believe we must use our, our, what you see. I don't just think we're ready as a people. Okay. That day, apart from that one, that xenophobia, series of protests, but not if they mention, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that day, when we go ICM, we not say may anybody destroy anything. And say it's just a peaceful walk. Yeah. Let let yeah. at least may international bodies they carry and they see say Nigerians are doing something about yeah. this. Brothers yeah. and sisters in South Africa. Yeah. We reach ICM. People just they chop for uh, all the interest where they there. They carry phone. Then they record us. <laughs> I call this verse. Say, oh, are you not supposed to leave? What your brothers and sisters are being murdered. You are seeing some people saying, let's use our voice to mm -hmm. speak against this thing. They can't carry for the ah, now I love Nigeria, now we're done, eh? Mm. So it just makes you look like a fool. So that's why yeah. sometimes I say, we are not ready. We're not we are ready actually yet. not ready. Mm. <laughs> mm. So, but in the meantime, while we wait for that readiness, the platform we God don't give me, me, I will always used to, you know, um, speak about whatever we should speak mm. about. Hmm. Yeah, doing well. You're yeah, doing, doing well. well. You're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking about uh, using using the, the platform, uh, a lot of times, uh, um, your 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 followers somehow yes. they begin to to um, control the kind of content you put out. 
in a mm. way because they go they, mm. they go they go they say okay if you drop so on some kind of content it's in no to uh, people not to uh, comment not to respond and you drop another mm. one you now realize that this is the kind of content your followers content. want you understand? Exactly. But, but in a case like this now seeing that there is a there's a, there are social situations the pandemic the rape issue and things like that mm. and with the with the with the kind of traction this video that you put out regarding coronavirus would get uh, compared mm. to the kind of traction your regular comedy um, skits would get would it mm. now would you now say um, um it would affect the uh, the kind of content you put out seeing that people mm. only would tilt towards the comedy one other than the mm. social, social conscious one, one. Would, yes. would, would this actually affect the kind of content you put out as a creative? Or would you just yes. say, okay, because of this what's trending now, I would be forced to give out content regarding that? Yes. You see? So, so that's why, by God's grace, I try to, what I try to do is to infuse that trending topic, whatever I want to talk about, into my style of comedy. Okay. That the people already know. Okay. You understand? That I know they want to enjoy. Because there are sometimes... I do. I don't do some things. Maybe in my videos, and you will be reading the comments and be saying, "Ah, uh -uh, you, you you not talk this one, no. You know, mm -hmm. you not say this one, you know." So because I know at, at a point, right now they are still enjoying it, but of course, whether whether anyone likes it or not, we have to evolve. With yes, time. yes. So it will come to a time where I will change pattern again. I will do this, but right now I know. Everyone is still gassed about this. This is what they want to see. Hmm. So if I have an information to pass, be it a social, a, a, a socially conscious message, mm -hmm. or be it an advert, or any information whatsoever that I want to pass, right? What I do is to bring in that information into my usual style of comedy. Mm -hmm. What I know they want to see and what I know they want to enjoy. Yeah. So that they can enjoy their dose of comedy and at the same time enjoy the message that I want yeah. to pass across. Hmm. Mm, that's just like putting mm -hmm. uh, b both eggs in one basket and serving it. Exactly. It's a buffet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because the, the, the say not to rape video, a lot of people were like, ah, I, I was looking at how this was going to end, how this was going to end. Mm -hmm. So they already, of course, they saw the freaky freaky. They saw, I already said, send me a account number. I've already said this, that. So they were looking, okay, what's going to be the twist? The Till they watch the end. I'm like, oh, wow. Mm. Okay. So it's good to just, you know, still give them that comedy they want. And of course, put in the message you want them to to get. I was I was I was going to ask you on a on a lighter note. You're always asking for account number. Your account <laughs> you know the empty. You will just they transfer money anyhow. Send me account number. You don't. When, you know, see, Edewa, when you see men that wear agbada, heavy agbada, heavy like agbada, that, there's uh, money. Uh, come on. You Come know, on. Uh, freaky, freaky. I, I need to freaky your own account up. Oh! You want to freaky no, my account? Oh my God! Not you. Why you shift? Present. I'm here. You. Oh gosh. You're yeah, doing, well. doing well. You're doing well. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, I have one question for you before I let Edelwa take over. So you know how writers okay. have writers block. Mm. You know, mm. and you know mm. the creative. It's so easy nowadays to just see anybody on social media say, oh, I'm a creative, I'm a content creator. Mm -hmm. They right. actually don't know the kind of work, sweat, thinking, investment Honestly. that goes into it. So when you come across, Honestly. you know, creatives block, let me put it that way, mm -hmm. how do you tackle that? How do you find your way around that challenge? You know, this, this question you asked is so, is so relevant because some days I'll just, you know, I'll just be having this headache. <laughs> I want to create, I want to write something, I want to, but I, it's not just coming. And for two, three straight days, I, I'll just, you know, I'm just blank. Mm -hmm. I'm, well, what's going on? Won't I, won't I shoot? Won't I, you know? So sometimes what I try to do is just, I, maybe I just drive. I just leave the environment I'm in. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just go to um, um, relax in one hotel. I just, you know, I just do, <laughs> hey. like, you know, I just want breeze. I want fresh. Cool yeah. breeze to blow your head. So, yeah. <laughs> then I maybe try to walk around and see. Then maybe um, soft the net, of course. What is going on? Because now those things where they go on to, they seem they take see inspiration from yeah. time to time. You understand? So because right now, I've I've had people send me some content saying, "Ah, uh, I think this will fit into mm -hmm. what you do and how you do." But yeah. you see, when I read most of them, I don't know why I'm not just satisfied. I I just it's, I still just wait for that one that comes. 
out of my head, you know. And trust me, it's very tasking. It's, sometimes it can be frustrating, but I thank God we we, we managed to pull by. I, I thank God. So, so I is, just try to... So as is, do, you, do you have, like, do you have like, like a team? You don't have like a team that works with you, that creative team. You say, okay, well, you drop the idea, then them say, come look and say, okay, if we add this, if we come out this, if we do this, do you have like a group of people, mm, for close now, friends? In all honesty, for now, I don't have that team mm. but yeah I, I have a group of um, guys you know along with my crew yeah yeah when the idea is rolling around my head of course you know i just tell them this is because of course they are the ones shooting yes they need to understand the idea yes now the idea, eh, now the idea be this but i never and you know they just they start deliberating on it and eh, make it end like this mm -hmm. eh, make we put this make we put that mm -hmm. you know Makes sense. It's good Makes because there's some, there's sometimes we get to ask some celebrities about how they create their content. I'd be like, hey, man. Uh, some of them just talk to a couple of friends and those ones say, oh, yeah, more will do this, more will do that, more will do that. And it is, it is very understandable. In, mm. in, in, in abroad, we get uh, people with their own to just to act them. They will give them the scripts, they will act them exactly. and they will make them right. Mm. It doesn't make the person less of a creative. You understand? But, but that is, that's where he can, that's where he can function. Yeah. It also happens in the music industry. You get writers where they write songs for artists where they blow it. Beyonce, mm -hmm. they don't write plenty of songs for them. Ghost but writers, in know, Nigeria, like it seems that we we would we would we, we we tend to look at creatives lesser if they are not the ones bringing Actually, out the idea from their head. Which and is it, totally wrong. And it's wrong. It's totally wrong. You understand? Mm -hmm. So totally speaking wrong. about that, goes to my next question. The pressure now, like you said, you go feel rich two days where you know go fit uh, put anything out. How do you cope mm. with the pressure of your fans knowing that, okay, well, I've not dropped a video today. I need to put a video out. How, how mm. is it for you? Because it's very, very tasking mentally. So how do you, yeah. how do you cope with that pressure? Uh, yeah, you know, well, like I said, we just, I just have to keep up with the work, mm -hmm. you know. So that's why I just explore as much as I can in order to create content yeah you know and i'm not um i'm not running away from um um you know writers or other creatives of of the sort mm -hmm. to send in materials mm -hmm. you know it's just i'm just saying right now i don't just most of it i don't just i'm not getting yet mm -hmm. so i'm always it's always it's always coming from, the, from your mind first. exactly yeah. you have exactly. to see it so, first yes yes hmm. so right now at least i know i've been able to keep up with the audience yeah you know well, i tried to drop at least two videos in a week in a week oh, two wow. or three videos in a week and i think okay. they, are, they are they are they are fine with that hmm. okay. so it's always good just to give to, them in order to yes in order to continue to dish out um great content i think they just have to um take it whenever they get it Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Give us <laughs> a taste and leave us wanting Take more. Take his ass, it comes. Absolutely. Uh, Mr. Yeah, Macaroni, exactly. uh, still on using platforms to create awareness and enlighten the public on, social, public on social issues and trending issues. Now, a lot mm. of people tend to keep quiet in times like this. A lot of celebrities mm. and people who have huge following and huge influence uh, just seem to go behind the scenes quiet. You know, mm -hmm. when things like uh, this happen. Now, we're not mm. saying that's right, we're not saying that's wrong either. I mean, it depends on the perspective. But what do you think about celebrities and influencers who remain silent in troubling times like this? Mm. I just, I just, I believe um, um, to every man his own way. And I, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to hold anyone, I'm not going to say anything about anyone who doesn't want to talk about any issue, um, you know. Provided he or she just doesn't want to talk about it. Some people believe that, okay, this is what I'm, I want to do, entertainment. And he stops at that. I want to entertain people. That's it. So you can't fault them. You know, you can't fault them. It, it's just like there are, there are a lot of other people who, um, you know, who have, who are doing things, you know, into other professions. And they don't see anything. The only reason we can talk about maybe entertainers and influencers and all of that is because um, they are in the public light, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yes, they are in the public light. So you just want to, and you know, I've seen it. It's, it's almost becoming a trend that people will now start um, sending messages, dropping comments that uh, can't you speak about what is going on? Yes. Can't you say this about what is going on? 
you know, I don't just everyone's orientation about how to use is our public platform. Yeah. Um, is our platform is is dependent on that person and that, that person time. alone. Yeah. So I don't think we can actually dictate to people how they use their platform. Hmm. Well said, well said, actually, because uh, it's uh, something that we've started, we face in Nigeria, the yeah. entitlement mentality. The same yes. way exactly. where they were hitting on celebrities, do give away, do give away, do give away. Now you give them money. You don't even know whether the celebrities have Whether you get money. You don't know if they are exactly. soaking Gary inside. So, <laughs> no, no, it's, a, it's an entitlement mentality where we try change for Nigeria because we feel that because you are a celebrity, you owe us a lot of uh, things from your end. Right. And it's not always like that. Like you said, you don't know exactly. Celebrity has that. money. You don't know if the celebrity is in the right frame of mind. You don't know what they are hmm. going through yeah. personally. So, uh, because um, the conversation has been on social media that a lot of celebrities in these times they just hide away from issues like this, and even the ones who come on, uh, who talk about them, just drop it on social media and right. leave it and there because they don't want you know enter road or come out publicly to have this conversation because. Uh, some arguments is that uh, because of endorsement issues, branding, yeah. things like that, they want to stay away from um, social issues so mm -hmm. that it doesn't affect Potential their brand. You understand their endorsements and things like that. But you, you, you were telling us that uh, you are uh, you, you be a laluta. You they you they go out. You they like to be mm -hmm. in front of all these movements. Now, have mm -hmm. you ever seen that as a concern? Seeing that okay, you are an influential personality. You have mm. brands and endorsements and things like that. Would you have you ever thought that going out, being involved actively in these movements can affect mm. your brand growth? Have you ever mm. thought about that? Actually, no. And that's because it's that was my person mm. before this, before this status. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So naturally, back in school, my I'm always, I always want, I stand for love, I stand for justice, and I stand for truth. Mm. So that's how I've been. So I don't think that can change at mm. any time. Anytime I feel the need to address any issue, I will address it regardless. So I don't think speaking about societal ills should make any, any brand want to dissociate um, themselves from you. from you. Yeah. Yes, I don't mm. think so. You're, you're, you're speaking against the society, uh, maybe except maybe you're talking about um, government endorsements and all of that. Mm -hmm. okay. But at the same time, at the end of the day, what is government? What should leadership be about? Leadership is service. Yeah. Leadership is accountability. Yeah. It's commitment. It is, it, 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 is, it is serving those people that you have sworn an oath to serve. To serve so yes. if those people are saying they are not happy with the leadership, you are not happy about how things are going. The natural thing for you to do is to retrace your step and make things better for people. Mm -hmm. It's not to believe that maybe they are against you. Government is accountable to every citizen in the country. Yeah. True. Because Absolutely. as it should be, as True. we say it should be, yes. it is those people that put you there. Mm -hmm. So if the general consensus is saying we are not happy, with the way things are going. It, I, I think the natural thing is just to work on, listen to what those people are saying and work on it to ensure that things are better. I think that's how a government should be. So nobody, I don't think anybody should be angry that people are speaking out and saying things can be better. Hmm. Makes sense. Absolutely. All right. This, uh, this is very, very insightful because a lot of times people don't know the, uh, the, the behind story of uh, the celebrity, whether they see on top of their screens Absolutely. or they, you know, they don't yeah. really say, ah, <laughs> everything all day yeah. as a day. And that's what you be. They just underrate <laughs> them. They don't know that yes. they actually are deeper than yes. you know, the comedy yes. that you they see. Okay, that's what you be. We don't know. Now, yeah. on the lighter <laughs> note, we know that uh, yeah. your, 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 your character, where you play Mr. Macaroni, mm. na, mm. na, 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 na sugar daddy, where they give money. Now, <laughs> right. I, 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 I am an, I, I'm an actor, and because right. of that, there was, there was a, a, a role I played in one popular Nigerian TV series, and when I walk on the streets, they, they harass me, like, say, na me be the character. <laughs> na you be that person. You understand? Yeah, they go me that. say, what did they worry you? Why you not do this kind of thing? Why you go do that kind of rubbish? <laughs> and I kind of think, I say, but not acting at the act. No, not be me <laughs> be that. <laughs> Now, you have brought this character out of a sugar daddy yeah. that's always sharing money. When you say, 
Mm. Have they, how they don't approach you for streets? Give us the, the street life, okay. the normal day house, the yes, day on the streets oh, of you. No, no. In fact, in fact, just day before yesterday, a, a, a very beautiful woman, you know, she stopped. She na Prado did the drive because na lekki another lekki I did. Na Prado, so blessing na uh, actually na driver or no? No, bless someone. Sha was um, na in pika. So just say ah, yeah, 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 yeah. freaky, freaky. We have, we have. You must send my three hundred now, 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 Freaky, freaky. So even the men. Uh, uh, so anytime, anywhere they see me, that money where they always see at. People will let our own. We must collect our own. So, you know, have to sometimes shake you body. just laugh. And the ones that you feel that you can just tip something. Give them to something. something. You know, as they go. Now, all, all that in act, you know. Yes, you know. So. 300,000. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so I can imagine what you go through. Um, yeah. So I, 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 I totally condemn it. I stand against it with all my soul, my body, and mm -hmm. my mind. It is not, it is not, not, not even for this age and time. Mm -hmm. You go, they say, if you know, if they not give you do, you go one force her. Yeah. It's not, not this no age and time at all. Yeah. There are a lot of options that you can avail yourself with. A lot of options. Go find another thing. To go find another person. Go do something. Mm -hmm. Go not be saying you go call. So, and I think the government has to take it serious. And the, 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 the punishment for rape has to be so, so, so... Um, severe. Um, severe that, you know, once you're caught and once you're punished, in your, in, it will teach other people like you never in their life to... And I think the justice system to, regarding that, mm -hmm. uh, regarding rape, regarding police brutality, mm -hmm. has to be reviewed. Yeah. Once we get cases like that, yeah, it, you, it should be it should be timely. Like ah, this case in the next sharp sharp, may they just may they the rule and so move that maybe some people will say the person go call day, we go stick on the year the story. It go teach other people like that. Say, um, this is the way we do. It not good do. You know because we know how 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 fast and easy it is to um um grant other things. In, yeah. you know as as yeah. it were. But this rape issue and it, these are issues that. Are affecting a lot of our girls, a lot of our women. Not be about what they wear, not be about their age, not be about anything. It's just the fact that there are some, there are some mentally deranged people walking around yeah. and, and doing things to, you know, to harm others, which is very bad. It's very wrong. I condemn it and I stand against. Uh, Mr. McCarthy, speaking about the 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 the, uh, the, the punishments the way they talk about, make I just give you one small uh, update on the way the punishment did it be for other countries, uh, because we, we we discussed this thing for our top stories earlier today, yeah. and for okay. China, uh, for places like, like China, did they castrate the, the person for China uh -huh. castration, then for uh, India and US life imprisonment. For the person, then uh, for Saudi Arabia, Iran, and other uh, Middle East countries, now dead straight. You understand? Okay. So this now the punishments where they give them for these countries. And uh, yesterday, and I, I was talking about uh, this a rape issue that happened between a landlord and his tenant's niece, wow. and the man was given 15 years imprisonment. So people come and talk say, why do they give person 15 years imprisonment when uh, other countries they set Different, exactly. uh, all, all, all these kind of things. Why are we giving 15 exactly. years? You understand? So, so as, as from your own side now, as person will be an uh, influential person, what do you go tell the government? If they won't give a uh, um, uh, ruling over person will be rapist, how, what uh, kind of judgment would you give that person? Looking at these ones who I don't give you, so these examples. Yes, that's death, life imprisonment, life imprisonment. Castration. All those options are valid. Bam. Mm. One person, yeah, all bam. This bam. <laughs> but honestly speaking, yeah, I feel like you will rip you mm -hmm. will rip person. You don't spoil that person. If if not be say God, if not be say God, if he just be um, help that person. Yeah. You know, not be say even if God help that person to get over um, uh, for the his situation. Wife, yeah. Not be say the thing. Not see they worry the person. You go see the thing. You understand? Mm -hmm. but, yeah, exactly. So in fact, we don't get issues like that. We say. The girl go say, if the girl see man like this, she feel, she go run. She go run, go yes. Side. The trauma. Yes. Because you, the, the person will have been traumatized. Mm -hmm. The person, the person life go, you know, he, he go just, so there's no, there's no reason for it. 
that's something where it, it did very painful. You will be mad if you get Pekin. Would they do that kind of thing? And the thing about this rape in now, mostly Pekin is the sufferer. Yes, so. Why? Yes, so. Why? Why you go to see small girl? Six, seven, eight, ten. You go and say the person get away because she never even know what's up. I brain never even, you understand. Mm. You can't say the next thing you won't do not to forcefully enter. Because even if you're not forcefully enter, I'm girl of 10, not if you, she, girl of 10, 9, all those things. Which is, how should I take use my tell you say, oh, yeah, I can't do. Yes, no. So the, the, the government has to take it serious. Mm -hmm. They have to take it serious. 15 years. Okay. When they give them 15 years, but see what we say, no balance. In head, no, because for me, now people wait, they had no balance, they rape. Yes. So, person yeah. where he had no balance, you give him 15 years. The other people were not balanced, like I go say, ah, 15 years. So, they go even enter prison, go flex, not till they are ah, just mm. years. Say, even if they do well, maybe in eight years. In eight years, years they go free release them for, them for us, yes. They, they, they were properly behaved. Yes. Yeah. So, it's more like we're encouraging it. Hmm. All right. Interesting. All right. Thank so you. Uh, before we let you go, <laughs> I just you know to hold you accountable to our darling viewers nationwide and outside the country. Uh, you did say I should send my details, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it just ah, set up. <laughs> Yeah, you, are, you are not doing well. Uh, not doing well again. But I want to do well now. <laughs> no, no, yes, yes. Send it to me in camera. Oh, in camera. Mm. I got you. Yeah. Not that you deny me tomorrow. Mm. No, don't worry. If I deny you tomorrow, you tell them. You tell everybody. <laughs> you tell them. All right. This has been a great conversation. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Baba. Thank you for talking to All us right. on the show today. It's been amazing. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Take care.